This is your man, Johnny Hernandez, Next Level Connect, here with Coach Dwayne Schallenberger from Utah Select. Let me get that t-shirt, Coach, you know, just to get you on there. We're here at the Elite Eight in the desert here in Phoenix, Arizona. You know, talk to me today, Coach, about you played a couple games. Talk to me about the tournament so far. First game, we had the Cup of Magic Elite. Uh, we ended up losing by three. It was a great game, hard fought. We had a few late turnovers, uh, a few uncharacteristic mistakes, but uh, the team's playing really well. And then uh, we just barely lost a game point. We were up 15 in that. Let them come back. They got they got hot and got us. Um, we lost by five. But the guys are competing hard and, and we're preparing for for summertime. So we're trying different things in the spring to to be ready to roll in the summertime. I hear you. Okay, I want to you know touch on Utah Select spring so far. You know talk about your spring so far as a squad. And, you know from a coach's point of view. It's been great. Um, like I say, I've had a, a few different guys that we tried out, had some young kids come up to see if they were ready. Um, obviously, I've got uh, Tyler Ott that plays with us, um, who leads us, but I've got a, a few other guys that, that really are emerging and have had a really strong spring. Walker Swenson is one of them that has really emerged as, as an upcoming recruit. But it's been great. We went to Freitas' event, uh, we're in Vegas, now with Chad's event, uh, and everything was, was great for us. Okay, okay. You know, I want to touch, you know, on the Utah Select, you know, your team. You know, you, you mentioned yep. Walter Swenson, yep. you know, Walker. now let's break, let's, let, let's break the kids down, you know, okay, talk, talk about as many great. kids as you want and break them down for the college coaches, media, scouts, and people watching this. Great. Uh, Tyler Ott is, is our guy that obviously has the most interest at this point, had a really strong showing last summer, he's super athletic, he shoots a three, six, five, um, he's, he's very well known. Um, We've had some other guys step up. Walker Swenson is the one that I mentioned, Dixie High School. Yeah, sorry about uh, messing up that name. That's okay, Walker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, he's really, really coming. He's nice. Brandon Simister, uh, my point guard, is one that's so underrated. He's, he's a great communicator, great team leader, uh, just kind of a glue guy that is a must. He's just a winner, you know, and uh, he's played well. One tournament shot 66% from three, so he's really solid. Um, you know, Boston Googler at 6'9", Colton Marshall, 6'7". Um, Kyle Hansen, I had the Toolson boys with me this weekend from Arizona. Jake is a, is a big time player at 6'5", 200 as a freshman, 210. His older brother Connor is a strong player. So we, we feel like we have the makings of a really strong team this summer. And uh, I've been really pleased with, with a couple of guys, uh, sp specifically Walker and, and Brandon that really have stepped up the game this spring. Okay, okay. You know, where can the, where can the college coaches, media, scouts, find you, you know, the rest of the spring? That's a great question. Uh, www.utahselectbasketball. Uh, okay. We have a website, some player videos I'll be adding to that. You can call me on my cell, 435-313-6700. Uh, my email's on the site, but anytime. And, um, always make time and available to help these kids. So, okay. Kyler, Kyler Nielsen is one of the players that wasn't with us this weekend, 6'5 guard that, that has had a nice spring as well. So, okay. I want to touch on Utah Select as a program now. Thank you. You know, there, there's a, there, you know, not every player, you know, can play in every program, as you know, you know, just it just doesn't fit sometimes. But talk about what Utah Select looks for in a player, you know, and and what fits you guys. Okay, great. Uh, obviously, being based in Utah, we we have. Uh, a lot of LDS kids uh, in our program. Um, we we really every one of our players get it done in the classroom. I think our lowest GPA is like three, three two, three five. Uh, Boston got a 30 on his ACT. I mean, we have some really smart kids. Uh, it helps on the court. We have high basketball IQ, so we may run maybe more sets than other teams. We still like to really push, but we can we can run changing defenses and a lot of changing complex offenses. We run the triangle. Um, and the kids are really, really smart. So Utah Select Basketball, um, we put the team team first. Obviously, we feel that an individual is only better within a team, not by himself. And so, you know, if we have a guy that, that wants to play outside the box, he's not really a fit for us um, because we practice, we work together, and uh, it's definitely a family type atmosphere. Okay, how long has Utah Select been in an uh, organization? Uh, when I moved to St. George, I, I started it shortly after that. We was in our just past our fourth year of operation, and uh, it just keeps growing. Last year, Dantley Walker, uh, who's signed with UNLV, uh, Riley Bradshaw of Montana played for me. He just committed to Utah State. So we've had some really recent success, and with Tyler's uh, success, I think he's getting ready to have another big summer to maybe uh, have as many options as he feels like uh, he wants. And, so we're just going to build on it and 
and I have a 15 and under team with some great young kids coming up. So I, I look forward to Utah Slug being a, a strong team in the future. Is that the the two programs that you have, 17 and 15, or do you have other more? 17 and 15. Okay. Being, we're based in Southern Utah, so you know it's not a large, large area. We've got you know 100,000 give or take, and we'll, we may pull from other areas, obviously, but. Um, Two groups, it, it fits just right to work with some younger guys and then play other guys up at 17s. So, okay, coach. Well, I appreciate the interview. Thank you.